Yeah, they're gonna be my own kids. They're not gonna be kids sitting in a classroom. Dude, See, this is you always get me pissed off, and then you pull the fucking camera out. You said you were gonna be a history teacher. I never said that. Yeah, but look, you're dressed like one. Your major is history teaching. <laughs> That's not even a major, dude. Education. Dude, to be a teacher, you have to get that fucking education thing. Yeah, but you're just gonna continue on as a minor. Nope. You're gonna minor. I'm gonna minor in like economics or criminal justice or something. Somehow they're gonna let you into a school. No, they're not. I mean, they probably would, but. There you go. There you go. So that's uh, subtle. That's what you're gonna do. <laughs> so by that logic, since you're gonna be majoring in computer science, I don't even fucking know what jobs are for that. You're gonna write science algorithms on computers. And it's gonna be about diarrhea wagtail. What are you doing? Don't look at my music. Just come on, man. Let's just find some common ground here. I'm a history teacher, dude. Yeah. Well, make sure my kid takes me to your classes. <laughs> and then you're gonna be extra hard on them. Yep. Just be, be regular. Yeah. So what's up, man? What's up? I don't know, this music is just a little bit. Some jingle bells for you. Oh, you freak, or... Oh, no. Now you can call somebody a faggot, and it's just... There's this, like, yeah, whatever, like... I call people faggots all the time. But are you sure? say, well, not strangers. I don't like. But I thought ones. people are more sensitive now. I don't know. Maybe like strangers. You're a faggot. That's basically gonna be your car for the rest of your life. You're gonna get out of the car at the school and they're like, Hey, Mr. Michael. Mr. Michael, I say, Look here, fucker. It's Mr. Stop. <laughs> Just Stop say it. it again. You're like a fucking paparazzi. <laughs> say fucking piece say of it shit. again. No. <laughs> Darwinism. Yo, come on! No. Please! No. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, someone's battery probably died. Can you help him out? Here we go. <laughs> Alright, well you- wait, so when are you gonna hit him up though? When are you gonna hit him up is a real question. You said you were going to the other day. I was kidding. Well dude, no, look, two things. Hit him up, set up the app. Wait. What's wrong with the picture? It looks good. Very grainy truck picture. What's wrong with it? I don't know. I don't know why you, you can't said, even tell what truck it is, can you? I can tell it's a Dodge. I'm not, it's not that that. Actually, great. it's a Ram. What? Faggot. I say no. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess just pick me up then. We'll see. Just uh, first things first. I gotta do this before any of that happens. So the longer we sit here, the longer later it's gonna be. How long do you think? I don't fucking know, dude. Stop being a fucking faggot. All right, you're gonna be ready. All right, let me know. All right. Use or the cars. What? Hit up the use or the cars. All right. All right, see ya. See ya. All right, guys, what's up? We are back in the truck. Let's head on out. I just started her up. So I'm going to get back and let's install everything on the interior here real quick. And then I'm not sure how things are going to pan out. And if you guys are rocking seat covers, try, try to drive without them one time and you can actually feel how nice and firm the i don't know how to explain it but just this part really hugs your body a lot more than if you have seat covers because it doesn't really allow you to do that especially if you have tight ones that are universal such as the ones that i have i should have got something that were directly fit for this vehicle but then i would see the price for about 200 bucks for seat covers but maybe it is worth it because then you have to deal with them i don't know just ripping off all the time Guys, a couple hours later here, I'm in the driveway. Got the truck right here, perfect. Oh, that sound like a cool muscle car. So over here we got the floor mats in the truck. We got those put back. This one pallet there, and then we got that. Clean that one up. Clean this one up, that one's there now. 
And what I'm going to do is put these freshly washed seat covers back onto the seats because, well, I don't know, it was, it was nice to drive for one day, but I do want that added protection from dirt and debris or whatever just gets on these seats. So let's do it. Here we go. Let's just get this on up here. There we go. Well, I tell you what, this would be a lot easier if I could open the other door so I wouldn't have to reach over. All right, guys, we finally got it taken care of, and man, it took forever. The sun is, is basically almost set because of how long I spent on this, but realistically, it's amazing now. And check how firm and tight that is. The, here's the problem that I would always have. Even on my side sometimes, I'd slip out the side because as you can see, there's a lot of, there's a big step here, more than a foot because of the lift kit and the bigger tires, yada, yada, yada. But check it out. People would step out and then the the seat would just slide off. It's it's even happened where it just slides out onto the ground and get dirt all over it. It's even happened to me on that side. Not as much though, because I get I just get out a certain way. It just doesn't happen. But it's kind of kind of sucks. I hate when that happens. It would always slide off and I have to fix it. Especially now that I have to get off on this side. I'd always have to fix one of these because I'm getting off on this side and it's is that there would be little. I don't know if you could see it, but there's little things such as this right here i don't know if you can see that but there's two of them on each side and they align with two of them here so what i did is i ran string on the back of the seat all the way back and around and i tightened it very tightly so here it is here's one tightened right there and this is just from this is just from the top part that i never have a problem i never have a problem with this going anywhere near the headrest so i don't really worry about those but yeah, we got it taken care of, and it's great. I mean, back here it's a little loose, but there's nothing I can do. No one really sits back there, like I said, so it's perfect, man. It took a while, and I'm just amazed by it. So there was a rattling in the interior of this truck that I kept having to deal with. Highway speeds, a lot of vibration with these tires that the tread is getting even lower now. You thought it was bad before, it's getting a lot worse. That one doesn't look as bad as back here. Back here, it's getting, see, look, there's even a chunk of the rubber taking them off but it's getting bad back there and we got to get those tires on but anyway so the the inside here would rattle all the time and i was wondering what was the problem what is the issue cutting up my fingers trying to figure out what is rattling and i keep tapping and banging on this trying to figure out what it is and i realized that it's something inside this reese trailer braking system i had this when i bought the truck it came with it it was part of the deal i put a little piece of tape in there to stop it and it stops this little thing from moving up and down i thought you know anything aftermarket may give you issues such as that so it kind of sucks but that seems to be a good fix and i think i'm just going to keep it that way i mean what else am i going to really do about it but now it's stopped finally i'm going to have a nice quiet cab i just want to play music softly i don't have to listen to some rattling so there we go we got the seat covers washed and back on perfectly they're not going to slide off everything is vacuumed and clean in here now just check out how perfect that is 